Hello everyone, I'm the Anthopple and today we are taking a look at Fort Bannister, the area in which the Talon Company, those people who attack you, live. It can be located just right here on the Fallout map and it is northeast of the Charnel House and directly west of the Jerry Street Metro Station and it is a very strange area. As you can see these irradiated craters surround it and within these craters can sometimes be found alien power cells. Were the aliens responsible for this bombardment, and why would they even want to in the first place? Well, these are some questions, and a few more, that we're going to try speculate and answer on within this very burr and barren place where assholes reside. So you're going to see their main camp, a couple of Brahmin, sometimes Brotherhood of Steel Paladins, and another one related to a separate quest. But we're going to look at some of the entrances, of which there are many, to the main base. But the one straight up here is the one we're going to look at first. So it's the Fort Bannister Main. Now within this area, there are many Talon Company soldiers and they are going to try to kill you because, well, they hate you. But it's this area at the back we're most concerned about here, or most interested in. You kill the guard and then you come to this door right here. It actually leads back out to the main area and it can be used to gain entrance to that area. Now, unfortunately the Fort Bannister Main doesn't really have a lot or anything in terms of information. And when you progress up here, you're going to see why. Through this door to the right. All these terminals, none of them work. Okay, there is no information to be had throughout this entire vault. I don't know why, but the only thing is this glass um, ceiling and the Jander's closet at the bottom, which actually has some good goodies for you. You can get in here a fat man, several mini nukes, and this. The Big Book of Science, also some other miscellaneous forms of ammunition, but unfortunately there's no information to be gleaned, and that will become a running commentary throughout our look at this vault. There is very little information on it. The vault, what am I talking about? Fort Bannister. In here you can find a Brotherhood of Steel member, and as you can see down here, he's dead as fuck. Okay, so they're gonna try storm the base, and because these people are armed to the absolute teeth, that isn't very effective and doesn't work out very well for them. But um, they try their best, so uh, yeah. So the commanding officer quarters, there's going to be turrets, there's going to be mines, there's going to be talent company officers, and you're going to need to dodge all of that to progress to the bottom here, which shows something very interesting why this base may have been so valuable. Silo doors for missile launching. This could have been, or most likely was, one of the nuclear launch platforms for the United States, and the bombardment outside could have been done by the Chinese in an attempt to destroy them and reduce the number of nukes. Or it could have been the aliens, we're going to see. So over here you can see to the right, their quarters showing just how many Talon Company mercenaries are within this fort. And you can also go either up or you can go down. But we're going to be going down here and then we're going to go up later. Now down here you're going to be, okay, you're going to be um, attacked with several turrets. A big pit of water, which there is nothing interesting in. So we're just going to progress through this door over here. Whereupon we can see that they are actually very well fed and stocked, showing just how many, once again, soldiers reside within this base. So, you can go left, straight ahead, or right. In here, you can get a lot of goodies and stock up on ammunition, which you're probably going to need at this point. That is the bunker. We're going to go in there later, but not just yet. Here you can find the leader of the Talon Company mercenaries. Okay, he is called Commander Jacob, so Jacobs, whatever. You can find Occam's razor, a helmet, armor on him, and also a key to several safes and doors throughout the um, base. But beyond that, there's nothing else on him. If you go down these steps, you're going to find a lot of chemistry equipment and computer equipment that you would think would glean more information, but once again, there's nothing. None of it works, which is really irritating. These safes will be used by him if he needs to get more weaponry if you manage to disarm him. But uh, beyond that, there isn't much anything of interest down here. So now we are going to try and go up this time. So up here to the right, you're going to find a clinic where you're going to find a mercenary and a wastelander. Now why they're here, we don't know. They're not being fixed. Okay, you can be, you know that much. So clearly they were being experimented on or maybe harvested for blood, organs, or even more chillingly, possibly meat. We don't really know what the Talon Company mercenaries will eat considering they're a bunch of murderous psychopaths. 
Over here you're gonna find a generator. Not much of interest. You can blow it up if you want, I guess. Now the only thing to do, or left to do, is to go into the Fort Bannister bunker itself. So to the left or right, it doesn't matter, it will all loop round. Now at this point, I believe it should point out, you're going to need to be heavily armed when you come in here. They are armed to the fucking teeth and armoured to the balls, okay? So be wary of that. Also, I would like to say, this is a great place to get a lot of gear, a lot of armour, missile launchers, flamethrowers, Chinese assault rifles, it's a gold mine. Also a lot of fingers from talent company mercenaries can be harvested. And also look at this, a fully working system of what appears to be water purification or a generator. But this vault, vault, this area is in such good state of preservation even after this amount of time. This entire bunker still works everything. Now, how it survived the bombardment outside, I don't know, clearly it was built to do so, but it just shows you the feats of engineering that were capable of before the war. Also, watch out for those panels, you'll get shot if you step on them by a shotgun. So after that, the only place left to go is up, in which you'll emerge outside once again, in an area which you can use to sneak into the base. And that's it, that is Fort Bannister. The place where the Talon Company dwell, and it has faced major bombardment and damage over the years. Now, this building over here sort of seals my um, theory on this being a nuclear launch platform. As you can see here, this is a basement of the building which has become exposed. And this is where the silo goes out. This building was clearly meant to house this silo, and in an emergency it would launch weaponry or missiles or nukes. Now, who did this? I think it was the Chinese, to be honest. The aliens are a bit far-fetched, and the power cells, even there, I wouldn't think that the aliens have a problem blowing this apart. Or if they are, where are the corpses? What happened to them? We don't know. But, yes, I think it was the Chinese that did this. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout 3 lore. If you did, like, favourite, subscribe, and don't forget to share on all forms of social media to raise awareness of my channel. If you want to see more content, please go and check out the rest of my Fallout lore series, 3 and New Vegas. Check out my obvious trailer analysis for a bit of comedy, or my Let's Plays for some good old gameplay. If you want to get in touch with me or talk to me, please follow me on Twitter and ask me there. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave it in the comments section below, or message me on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope I will see you in the next one as well. Goodbye. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, any comments and feedback on anything you think I did right and anything you think I did wrong are appreciated. Any feedback on what you think the next episode should be, please leave it in the comment section below or follow me at the nth apple for more updates and to interact with me or ask me any questions. I have linked a video above that I think you will also like. Go and watch it, if you want to. If you don't, that's fair enough too, I guess. And I hope I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.